Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be recreating this look that I was wearing on my February favorites. February favorites. So if you would like to know how I got this done, then keep on watching. Hi guys, so I really want to get this done quickly. I need to be out of here in about 10 minutes. So I already did one eye. I am recreating the look I was using on my February favorites. So again, I am using the Catherine Lights with collab with Morphe. And I'm using it's really fast, easy, quick, out the door look. It's I'm only using I believe three shades from the palette and it's just all about blending. So let's get to it. Alright guys, so like I said, this has to be fast, fast, fast. So I brought you in close. I already put my foundation and my I set it already. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do my eye. My eyebrows are done as well. So I'm using this fluffy brush from um, Wet n Wild. Like I said, that's my go-to blending brush right now. And I'm gonna be using... So I'm using that shade there and I'm just gonna apply that into the crease. like I said just make sure you blend out and do it a little bit over the crease so you could still have like a peekaboo of this color and then with that same brush I'm gonna be grabbing the more maroon color next to the mustard color and I'm gonna be placing that a little lower than the other one And this one's going to be more on the outer V, like right here. And make sure you leave most of the lid with no color because I am going to be going in with the cream shade. So. And then with another fluffy brush. This one's from the Candy Apple from Morphe set. And I'm going to be going in with the black and just placing it right here no you couldn't even tell but yeah placing it in the outer V and this one we're just gonna blend it upwards because we don't want it in the whole eye And I'm going to go back with the mustard color and I'm going to put it on top of the black. Just make sure I don't lose my shade. So I really want that color to still show. And I'm using the Morphe brush that I was using earlier for that same color. And just blending those, that brown shade and the black. Because I don't want it too black, but just all right. So that's blended, and now I'm gonna go with this M441 brush, and I'm gonna add the just that matte creamy shade, and I'm gonna put that just here. To make sure that it's a still 
it's still like blank canvas okay so there you have it and then again i'm gonna go back with this one and just make sure that that cream color is not like somewhere different all right finish up the face so i hope that's easy enough for the i'm gonna go in with my chocolate soleil bronzer with my m143 you guys know and just do a little bronze The forehead a little. All right, so. And then. I'm gonna go in with my Milani Baked Blush and Berry Amour. And I'm gonna go in with my favorite blush brush. And it's from the Candy Apple um, set from Morphe. I'm just gonna dust a little bit. And I love this because I don't really have to wear highlight because it just gives you a nice nice glow so just blend that out and put it upwards okay so it gives a nice nice looking color and for mascara today i am not going to apply any falsies so i'm gonna be using my my l'oreal manga like always i just love this foundation it's really really good and the wand it just it's a flexible one so i really like those kind of mascaras Just to let you guys know, um, when it's a really like neutral color or not neutral, like a really fast, like that I have to walk out of the door really fast. I don't do my lower lash makeup. I just pretty much just add mascara to the bottom lash and I'm done. That's what I do. I don't know if that's if you always have to add your lower lash makeup but like I said this is what I do and for lips I'm gonna be using my lace mm, lace something I'll link it down below from my NYX lingerie and mixing it with this lip gloss on the top Alright guys, so I just added a coat on while I was waiting for this lipstick to dry. And now I'm going to go ahead and add the lip gloss. And it's the Maybelline. I love these lip glosses they are let's just finish it up with some setting spray and I'll be using my urban decay all-nighter spray I have to take like a big big breath before doing that so here is the finished look guys 
I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you guys did, then go ahead and give it give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And don't forget to click that bell button to keep updated with my videos. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day.